Okay, so hello and welcome back. Now, in the previous video, we talked about mathematical expressions and the way that you would evaluate those expressions that, for example, um, multiplication and division take precedence over addition and subtraction. And, for example, you would evaluate your expressions from left to right or you use brackets in your expressions and things like that. In this video, we will talk a little bit about a couple of examples to have a chance to work with what we learned essentially in the previous video. And I'm taking essentially this video, I'm taking it from essentially the same text, chapter one of class six. And this is page, uh, if you have the uh, electronic book, page 24. Uh, this part try these so it comes exactly after the essentially using brackets in mathematical expressions and so you want to write essentially these expressions in um, in um, uh, for you write the expressions for each of the following using brackets now you see for example over here you have four multiplied by so question one part a is four multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2 the sum of 9 and 2 so how do you write this so you have 4 which is a number multiplied by which means multiplication the sum of 9 and 2 the sum of 9 and 2 means when you when you when you see the word sum that means addition so sum essentially means that refers to addition and as i um, explained in the previous video these are the important things that you can learn in an algebra and then later on you can use them in um, translating essentially situations that are presented in word into essentially into a mathematical expression and vice versa meaning if you if you have a, a, a an expression which is which has been expressed in mathematical language using multiplication and numbers and things like that you can translate it back to um, you can translate it back to simple English language and then that, that of course has the, the the advantage that for example when you see in physics that later on for example in, in physics you have something like for example the i don't know for example in when you when you do calculus for example then you learn for example dq by dt that's something that called that's called for example differentiation then that is for example they call this i for example which is the current in 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 um which is the which is essentially current in electronics for example okay now when you see when when if you and the and the place to start is of course from right here that that's essentially where you start writing your mathematical expressions and when you see essentially dq by dt this basically then and of course then you already know essentially what the function is this is essentially q and this is for example t and now you know that essentially and the function is something like this and now in your mind you can actually see this mathematical expression how this is going how the electrical charges are changing for example with respect to time that's essentially understanding for example physics or the same the same basically this and 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 moreover essentially what you see here is actually a mathematical expression meaning it is a, an extension of algebra of course meaning algebra itself so if you start from here and if you do your job properly then when you get to physics and all of those things, all of those seemingly um, complicated 
expressions in physics they will actually make sense to you and understanding physics becomes very easy of course okay now um, now when you when you say sum that means addition when you say basically difference when you say difference that means subtraction when you say this is the words that are used in algebra in this context when you say essentially the product that means multiplication that means multi multiplication multiplication when you say quotient that means that means division so when i when i mean to say for example when i mean to say a 9 plus 2 i would say the sum of 9 and 2 when i mean to say essentially 9 minus 2 I would say I would say the difference of 9 and 2 right when I mean to say for example 9 times 2 then I would say the product of 9 and 2 when I mean to say the quotient of 9 when I mean to say 9 divided by 2 or essentially 9 by 2 I would say essentially the quotient of 9 and 2 okay so that's that's a, the, the, the language of of algebra here essentially the, the language of these expressions so these these are simple things and so then when 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 we when we say essentially this sum multiplied by 4 that means that essentially 4 is multiplied by some by some sum and the sum is the sum of 9 and 2 meaning the sum of 9 and 2 right now I can write this expression this way, but this is not the but but essentially this over here is not the the, the 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 expression that here we are talking about. We are multiplying the four by the sum of nine and two. The sum of nine and two is of course eleven, right? But then the way that I have written this expression, what this means is that first the four is multiplied by nine, which is a thirty-six plus 2 which is the 38 whereas if I multiply the 4 by sum of 9 and 2 which is 11 that should give me a 44 so these are two different things right which means that essentially when you want to write this exact expression that we are talking about here which means that essentially the 4 is supposed to be multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2 first the sum of 9 and 2 has to be evaluated which means that 9 and 2 has to be put in a in a pair of brackets in a pair of parentheses and then once you've done this this step the second step is to do the the multiplication okay so that is that is one thing um that's the first the first part the second part is this is one part b which is divide the difference of 18 and 6 by 4. Divide the difference of difference of 18 of 18 and 6 by 4. So here what you see is divide by 4 and divide what by 4 so essentially division means you have something over here and you divide it by 4 meaning the 4 goes into the into the denominator so this the, the, the number that you have on the bottom is called the denominator that's what you divide by and then the number that comes in the numerator is 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 is, is called essentially that this the top essentially is called the numerator that is what 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 you have that you divided by something else right so you're you're dividing by four right 
So that, 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 that part I understand. And then what is it that I'm dividing by 4? It is the difference. It is the difference of 18 and 6. The difference of 18 and 6, that means subtraction, as we mentioned. So that means 18 minus 6. That means that 18, 18 minus 6 first, I have to, I have to, I have to write essentially 18 minus 6 in the numerator and then divide that by 4 right and so then when I want to the same expression now when you write your expression this way the essentially what the way that you would evaluate this expression is that first you calculate what the whole thing that you have in the on the on the numerator meaning 18 minus 6 is the same thing as 12 and then you're dividing that by 4 which is equal to 3 right but then the same expression, if I were to write it as 18 minus 6 divided by 4, it's not the same thing. Because now this expression, essentially what this means, because, because of the fact that division takes precedence over um, subtraction and addition, then first you would evaluate this part, which is essentially 18 minus 6 divided by 4 is, let's say, whatever that is let's 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 say it is for example let's say that make it make it a two to make it simple so let's say that your expression is this so again because there is essentially division and multiplication takes precedence over um, over basically subtraction and addition first i would evaluate this part which means that I would write this as 18 minus 6 divided by 2 is the same thing as 3. And then 18 minus 3 is the same thing as 15. Which is, of course, not the same thing here. Right? So this is not the way to write the exact same expression over here. The way that I should write this, and because based on based on the, the 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 based on essentially the situation that i have here i know that this is the exact way that the ex, the ex, the expression is supposed to be evaluated and the answer should come out as a theory right so for, that means that essentially 18 minus 6 has to be evaluated first so i write 18 minus 6 and put that in in a pair of parentheses which gives priority to this part in this expression divided by 4 right now i have division in this expression and i have a pair of parentheses so of course the priority goes to the parentheses and so then essentially first i evaluate 18 minus 6 which is the same thing as 12 and 12 divided by 4 is the same thing as 3 the exact same thing that we have here right so these are essentially the little things that you need to take into consideration about um, about such expressions so you need to be careful about them and uh, meaning that if meaning that if you're thinking this for whatever reason if you're thinking this exact situation you have to write it this way because if somebody evaluates your expression based on your thinking, they should come to the answer theory and not anything else, right? Or essentially, if you, if in your mind you're thinking exactly this situation, you, sh you could, you could also write it this way. Because again, using the parentheses. Because if you miss the parentheses, then the answer becomes something else, which is not what you were thinking, right? So that's, these are, this is, essentially a good example to 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 understand the situation okay now the third part of this question is one one dash c one part c is 45 and 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 please note that 45 in this book in the ncrt book is written as 40 45 without the without the hyphen or without the dash which is technically technically not the right way to write 40 45 you have to write it this way meaning 45 this number right it's you have to write it this way but as long as you're 
working in this in the ecosystem of ncrt you're good to go otherwise if you want to if you want your the way that you write the number to be actually standard english then of course you have to write it this way so you have 45 divided by 3 times the sum of 3 and 2 now what this means when you say essentially times for example times for times something times means multiplication and so for example when i say 3 3 multiplied by 2 i can write it as 3 times 2 so that's another way of meaning you could call this for example the product of 3 and 2 or you can you can call it 3 times 2 for example right um, so how do I translate this 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 expression so you have 45 divided by something so 45 divided by something and that something which comes over here is supposed to be three times three times the sum of three and two right the sum of three and two would be essentially 3 plus 2 right so I if I write it essentially this way if I write 3 plus 2 then uh, then then essentially the way that I've written this expression is not right because here we are saying 3 times the sum of 3 and 2 meaning first the sum of 3 and 2 has to be calculated and then multiply 3 by that sum right whereas if i essentially if i if i if i if essentially only the denominator three times three plus two because multiplication takes precedence over addition so first this part will be evaluated meaning meaning this is three times three plus two not three times the sum of three and two which means that the, the answer over here would be three times three, which is equal to nine plus two which is the same thing as 11 right but this expression this exact expression would be 3 times the sum of 3 and 2 the sum of 3 and 2 is 5 so 3 times 5 is the same thing as 15 right so you see that the answers are completely different which means that you have to use a pair of parentheses here in order to uh, translate exactly what is written what is written here right and so now about this expression about this expression whenever you have a essentially this is called quotient right which is nothing but division of course but then when it comes to quotient essentially whatever you have in in a quotient you have the numerator you have the numerator and you have the denominator so you have all in a quotient you always have the numerator divided by the denominator so whatever whatever your numerator is it, you have to first calculate that and then whatever your and then divided by essentially whatever is your whole denominator meaning that you cannot you cannot rip this apart right for example first divide 45 by 3 and then uh, i don't know in some way divided by for example 3 plus 2 that's just not possible right which means that essentially first this whole part has to be calculated and then for meaning that you have to write this as 45 and then 3 times basically 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 and then again multiply this so 45 divided by 3 times 5 is equal to 15 and then the answer is a 3 45 divided by 15 is a 3 right so which means that essentially uh, so which means that essentially what i had to do in order to evaluate this whole expression this whole expression over here was that i had to first evaluate the whole denominator right so and now let's see if how we can write that in 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 essentially in another way so if i write 45 divided by 
divided by meaning essentially I'm writing this instead of this whole thing over here right divided by 3 times 3 plus 2 now what what happens here is that if I wrote my expression this way what this means is that first because essentially um, so first of all you have to go of course you have to start moving from left to right right moving from left to right you have essentially a division sign here and you have a pair of parentheses of course the press the, the priority goes to the pair of parentheses which means that this part has to be evaluated first so yeah i have so so far we have no problems 45 divided by 3 times essentially um, 3 times 3 times 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 right now in this step what happens is that now you have only a division sign and a multiplication sign so they have the same priority right Mul multiplication and division they have the exact same priority but now essentially how do you decide which one to do first and which one to do the second essentially you have to you have to move from left to right moving from left to right that means that first this one has to be done and then secondly this one must be done right which means that essentially you would have you would have essentially 45 divided by 3 which is the same thing as 15 times a, a, a 5 which is the same thing as 5 times 5 is equal to 25 plus 50 is equal to 75 which is not the same as 3 so things essentially go wrong here when I write my expression this way now how do I rectify this problem the way that I can the way that I can take care of this problem is that I could I should essentially because of the fact that the whole denominator has to be evaluated first I put a pair of brackets around this whole thing which means that now that I want to evaluate this thing this expression I have a division sign and I have this outer bracket right so when I see an out the outer bracket I have to move into the bracket and go to the innermost bracket or parenthesis or whatever there is inside that bracket so so that means that now I know that I have to essentially start from this part starting from this part I get to the to the pair of parentheses so I write 45 divided by and then 3 times and then 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 right now still the bracket is there so still the, um, the the division has to be left aside for now for later on we can take care of that so now I can write 45 divided by 3 times 15 3 times so is equal to 15 and 45 divided by 15 is equal to 3 that which is essentially the the this the correct answer so, so essentially this means that when you want to essentially when you want to write this exact expression meaning you have this exact situation in mind based on whatever it might be for example in physics you have a situation a horse is running towards the east towards the, the west towards the north or whatever at some speed and this is and the wind is coming from the west or whatever the situation might be that situation you have in your mind you have translated that and you have done that right of course correctly you have translated that to this exact expression over here in words now that is what you have in mind now you want to translate that into a mathematical expression that mathematical expression has to be written exactly either this way 45 divided by 3 times 3 plus 2 this exact way or you have to write it this way any other way that you write this meaning that if you miss for example this bracket or these parentheses or if you miss these parentheses that's not what you've written over here okay
so that is um, all about that now um, the next thing that we have here is um, is essentially question number two now question number two is a situation in which you can uh, actually you, you you're supposed to make sense of this expression over here meaning some expression is you see some expression somewhere in some context and of course you're supposed to be able to make sense of that meaning right uh, the, the question is right three different situations for this expression five plus eight in parentheses times a six right of course these are only numbers and a mathematical expression you can make sense of that in any in any hypothetical way basically in any sort of situation you can just simply make up a situation right unless you know a context for now since we don't have a context we can make sense of the situation in any way that we want just would be just imagination so for example one situation is that is that sohani and rita work for six days right and Sohani works five hours a day and Rita works eight hours a day. How many hours do both of them work in a week? So in a week means essentially in a week they work for six days, right? And one of them works five hours a day. The other works, for example, eight hours a day. And so, um, um, and so essentially both of them together work five plus eight in parentheses which is 13 times a 6 which is essentially the number of days that they work in in a, in a week so that would do for example 13 times 6 which is the same thing as 39 i suppose right um 6 times 13 is 69 excuse me 69 so and and of course um, <clears throat> and of course if i wrote the situation if i wrote the expression this way meaning five plus eight times a six this i can i can i can i can say that for example there is sohani and rita one of them works for example five hours a day one the other one eight hours a day in total they the num essentially and they work essentially six hours in a week so then the total number of hours that they work is this exact expression with the parentheses right but then if i if i wrote the same expression this way meaning five plus eight times six then this expression is of course different from this because because as a result of this i'm going to get it essentially 13 times a six which is equal to 69 that would be for example 69 hours or 69 whatever but this would be for example first i have to calculate 8 times 6 which is 48 so that's 5 plus 48 and that and then 5 plus 48 is that the same thing as 53 so you see that the answers are of course uh, different which means that essentially in this case for example one thing one hypothetical situation that they can make is that for example there is um, um, I don't know there is Sohani Sohani for example works eight hours in a eight hours in a day and he or she for example now Sohani I'm not sure whether that's a male or female name let's call it John for example John for example works eight hours in a eight hours in a day and six days in a week so then the total number of the total number of hours that he works in a week would be eight times six which is 48 hours and then his employer wants to give him some incentive for whatever reason for example because he's a very good worker then he is he 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 is going he wants to give him some money for like a like a some sort of incentive so then the the the, the employer essentially he he actually adds five hours to his working hours which would be essentially plus plus five hours 
so that when they calculate his salary at the end of the month then essentially then these five hours then are translated into for example rupees or dollars or whatever that 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 might be so then in total that would be for example 48 plus 5 which is equal to 53 hours in total although in reality he works only for example 48 hours but then five hours are given to him which is which is essentially um which is essentially um added by the employer arbitrarily and then the total number of hours for the for the calculation of the salary becomes 53 hours and then based on for example then for every hour he takes for example i don't know 100 rupees 200 rupees whatever the, the rate might be that becomes his salary for a complete week for example right so then you see that this situation would be different now the same situation so one way of one way of talking essentially about this would be the same example that we said so honey and rita work for for example six hours in six days in a week and then one of them works for example five hours in a day the other one eight hours in a day this is the total number of hours that both of them work in a week right Another way that you can make sense of this situation is, for example, let's say that you have five, let's say that Sohani or Sohani and Rita. Sohani buys, for example, five books. Rita buys eight books. Right? Then each book essentially both of these people have have bought essentially the exact same book meaning the price for the price is the same either whether you go for this book or this book the price is for example six rupees per book meaning the price of the book is six rupees and both have gone for the exact same book now this expression could represent essentially the total amount of money that both of them together have paid for all of the books that they have bought together. Meaning that in total, essentially, Sohani has bought five books, Rita has bought eight books, that's in total 13 books. The unit price for the book is six rupees, so then 13 times six, that would be essentially... 13 times 6 is the same thing as 69. That's essentially the total amount of money that they have paid for, essentially for all of the books that they have bought together. That's another way to make sense of the situation. Now, another way to think about this, situ this expression is that, for example, let's say that I have 5x. I have 5x. You have you have eight eggs right so in total we have essentially five plus eight which is 13 eggs now suppose that through whatever process for example somebody comes to me and tells me that for whatever reason i want to uh, essentially um, i want to essentially whatever the number of eggs that you have i want to um, I want to increase that by a factor, or essentially I want to multiply it by a 6, meaning that if you have 5 eggs, then 5 times 6 would be, now you would have essentially 30 eggs. And the same person comes to you and says that essentially whatever the number of eggs that you have, I want to essentially take that number, multiply it by, by essentially by a factor of 6 and give you that number of eggs essentially in total right so then essentially 8 times 6 would be the same thing as 48 that's 48 eggs so now i have 30 eggs and you have 30 and you have 48 eggs so in total i would have essentially 30 plus 48 which is the same as um now it seems that there's something wrong here 5 times 6 equal to 38 times 6 is equal to 48 that's a 78 and then uh, 13 times 6 is the same thing as 18 1 so that's 78 so so essentially all along i've been 
talking about the 69 whereas in reality that the actual calculation was 78 so that was my mistake you can uh, essentially correct it in your mind right but that doesn't make anything wrong of course just the calculation so uh, so now the total amount of x that that we that i and u have together becomes 30 plus 48 which is 78 that's the total number of x that now we have so that's the same number of the same type of situation i had 5x you had 8x in total we had 13x this person comes and says that says to both of us individually that whatever the number of x i take that, those number of x from you and count it whatever the number i multiply that number by six and then give you that exact number of x for example if you have five x then i take all of your five x five times six is equal to 30 i'll give you back 30 x and the same person comes to you and says the same thing and then through that process you got you get essentially 48 x now the total amount of x that we have together instead of a 13 becomes a 78 and that essentially can be written through this expression okay now um the then the next part of this question is basically is part three and that is uh, write five situations the question is write five situations for the following where brackets would be necessary so for example over here you have um, meaning that essentially a, a now i'm not I'm, I, i've given you enough hypothetical situations but the, but then the question itself is of course valuable meaning that you have 3a for example the 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 the, the, the expression is seven seven times eight minus three and remember that in algebra whenever when you write essentially this expression over here is exactly the same as seven times eight minus three meaning before the bracket whatever you put whatever you put before the bracket right before the bracket that means multiplication so so and since that's a convention then of course to make things simpler you can just omit the multiplication sign and write your expression exactly this way right so now the you see essentially i can write i can write this the the expression this way or i can write it as seven times and then just simply omit the bracket meaning not use the bracket at all meaning 8 minus 3 now what this means is that since essentially over here of course i have the multiplication sign still right so and then now to evaluate this expression whatever that might represent i can essentially i have essentially these brackets over here and i have the multiplication sign and of course i have to move from left to right right so when i when i move from left to right first i i i, I, I encounter the, the the multiplication sign and then there is the pair of parentheses but then because you have to give the priority to the pair of parentheses first you have to do this part meaning the multiplication has to be left for later so that's seven times eight minus three is equal to five and that's essentially five seven times five is equal to 35 right now in in this case seven times eight minus three now the bracket is not there right so moving from left to right first i encounter multiplication then subtraction and since multiplication and division take precedence over addition and subtraction then of course first i have to do this and secondly i have to do this which means that first seven times eight is equal to 56 minus three which is the same thing as 53 right so that's basically all about this whole exercise i hope that this video was helpful
and I'll see you in the next video and thank you.